Hi, Munich Sears, and in this short video, you'll discover how to get people to recognize your value as an architect or a designer. This is the business of architecture. All right, on today's episode of Architect Business Secrets, we're going to talk about value and how to deal with people who can't recognize your value. Today's episode is based on a question that got sent in from Mac, who's a, actually a landscape architect. And Mac says, I was listening to a marketing speech that you did in Canada, and I have a question for you. Being a landscape architect, I find that many people do not realize that I'm needed on a project or the value that I provide. How do I get people to even know they need me and my services? He continues, so as I start to market and go out and meet potential clients, I'm finding that they don't see a need for my services. It's just because they haven't been educated on the importance of it. All right, so there's a difference between people who already recognize the value and the importance of design and someone who doesn't. I would say, Mac, that you're fighting a losing battle. What you need to do is go back to the drawing board, reevaluate the kind of clients that you're setting out to serve. If the people who are approaching you, uh, if you're having trouble with the people you're networking with now and they're not seeing the value of working with a landscape architect, that means you're talking to the wrong people. So I would absolutely recommend against trying to educate those people. Your job is not to change people's mind. Your job is to get people who already have that desire and then give them the opportunity to work with you. One of the best marketers of all time said something. He said, you know what? If I wanted to sell hamburgers, what's the most important thing I could do, right? So if you open up a hamburger stand and I could give you any advantage in the world, what would you choose? Well, you might choose, you know what? I'd have a, uh, a busy street. I might be um, in a place where there's low taxes. I might have a, an incredible brand. All right, what he said was very telling actually. He said, just give me a hungry crowd and I will outmarket you any day of the week. So the takeaway here is that unless you, you need to find a hungry crowd, what's your hungry crowd? If people are saying they don't value your services and they don't value the design, they don't see a need for you, that is not a hungry crowd. So you need to get out there and you need to find those people. Now I can talk about that in another episode, how to find the hungry crowd. For now what I'll say is look at the kind of products that are being done in your area that you want to work on, find out who those people are, that's probably going to give you a clue about who your hungry crowd is. If you enjoyed this little tip, go to freemarketinggift.com. There's an architect marketing gift that I would love to send you.